are the Yoruba people? What role did Ife play in the founding of the Yoruba? Hi, welcome to the Sankofa Pan-African series. Please click on your subscription and notification buttons if you've not yet done so. That's the way you can sustain us. Now, our focus today is the is Ife civilization. However, it is impossible to attend the discussion of the history of Ife without first examining who and how the ethnic group known as the Yoruba came into uh, came to be constituted. In, in Africa, the Yoruba people can be predominantly found in, in West Africa. The area which they occupy in West Africa spans the modern-day countries of Nigeria, Togo, and Benin. Due to this transatlantic slave trade, uh, however, Yoruba people from Nigeria and Benin were forcibly transported to the Americas as slaves. Um, the Americas and the Caribbean as slaves. So some groups of such people were able to retain their religion and culture, which have since been spread across many borders and can be found thriving in places like uh, Trinidad, Cuba, uh, St. Lucia, Brazil, um, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, to name just a few. Historical evidence points to the fact that as of the 7th century BC, the peoples who are now known as the Yoruba were not initially known by um, that name or any other single group name. Though they shared a common culture, ethnicity, and close variants of the same language. By the 8th century um, AD, Ileife was already a powerful kingdom, one of the earliest in Africa, south of the Sahara. Almost all Yoruba groups trace their origin to princes of Ileife. As such, Ife continues to be the cultural and spiritual homeland of all Yoruba people. Archaeologically, the settlement of Ife um, has been dated to the 4th century BC. There is also evidence of urban structures pointing to substantial settlements appearing around the 12th and 14th centuries um, uh, AD. All the kings or Oni, the kings of Ife, actually known as Oni of Ife, claim direct descendant from Odudua. The, the primordial history of the group, now known as the uh, Yoruba, proves difficult uh, to piece uh, together because it is based largely on oral traditions and legends. Some of these legends are so interesting that I can't resist sharing some with you. Let me start with my, with my favorite. It is believed that Olodumare, or the Supreme God, also known as Olon, Oluon, ordered a deity called Obatala to create the earth. But on Obatala's way to create the earth, he discovered palm wine, that deliciously intoxicating nectar of the palm tree. Obatala enjoyed this first taste of palm wine and became intoxicated. Therefore, his younger bro brother, Odudua, who was sent along with him, took over the three items of creation which Olodumari had given Obatala from, uh, from him. Odua then climbed down from the heavens on a chain and threw a handful of earth on the ocean because the earth was all water at the time. Next, he put a cockerel on the land, which was created 
after he poured the um, the sand on the ocean, so that the cockerel would spread the earth, thus creating the land on which Ileife would be built. As the creator of the earth, Odua became the first divine king or Oni of Ife, while Obatala is believed to have created the first human beings out of clay. The name Ife in Yoruba has been translated by some to mean expansion. Expansion. Ilefe, therefore, refers to the myth of um, origin, meaning the land of expansion. Like I explained, <laughs> the history of how Ilefe grew into a great civilization is a complex one because it is so deeply steeped in rich mythology. According to another myth, which also seems to be favored by um, most Yoruba people, is that the widespread ethnic group who are now known as the Yoruba are all descendants of the lineage of Lamurudu. They believe that Ife was founded by Odua, who was the son of Lamurudu. He is believed to have migrated, I mean, um, I mean Odua is believed to have uh, migrated from a place which is sometimes um, located somewhere around Egypt and which some have also even located as far away as somewhere in the Middle East. This narrative of a uh, immigrant founding lineage in Ileife was very prominent in the 20th uh, century. And then contrary to this uh, perspective, other scholars have argued that while Odua migrated from an as yet to be identified place, he and his entourage met a pre-existing group already living in Ileife. As such, um, according to Akin Jogmi, Odua met with strong opposition and had to struggle with the pre-existing group for su supremacy. It is believed that through a battle with the pre-existing group, Odua and his entourage gained control of uh, Ilefe's economic and political institutions. He then became the founder of the first Ilefe uh, dynasty. It is important to note that the recurring point in these um, scholars' arguments is the constant reference to Ilefe as a cradle of Yoruba origin and the spiritual birthplace of all the Yoruba. Ileife has thus been regarded as the oldest existing dynasty in Yoruba land. And according to Adediron, it is significant as a symbol of political and traditional authority in the history of the Yoruba. Odudua is um, linked to the emergence of a centralized political system in Ileife. This became a central political system in the area now known as Yoruba land and remained thus until the 1900s. Ileife was not just the cradle of, uh, for political evolution in Yoruba land. There are other aspects in Yoruba history, like economics, um, religious, and um, social institutions pioneered by the city-state of Ife. Unfortunately, we still know little about how the early Oni uh, of Ife exercised power or how their territory um, was administered or precisely when the dynasty started. What we do know is that the landscape out of which Ife 
and other Yoruba groups like the Oyo and even the Edo, who are closely related to the Yorubas emerged, consisted of a mixture of tropical forests and savanna, savanna land with very fertile soil and a favorable amount of rainfall. Now, this rich landscape gave rise to the success and wealth of Ife Kingdom because it enhanced the ability to provide food with very little effort. This meant that labor then could be directed into creating great works of art, some of which were used for ritual and religious purposes, as well as the celebration of, um, of royalty. As such, over time, the Ife produced a wide range of objects made out of bronze, brass, copper, wood, ceramic, and ivory. By the 1300s, sculptural tradition in terracotta, art, uh, bronze, copper, brass, became even more refined under the reign of Obalufon II, Anoni, who was regarded as the deity of brass, uh, brass casting, uh, weaving, and regalia. The religious dimension of Ilefe was what formed the basis for gods and deities of a uh, Yoruba land. According to um, Adediro, um, religious cults were components that provided checks and balances uh, to the political uh, system. Olukwono, another historian, also describes Ileife as home to over 201 gods or the city of 201 gods. The, the Yoruba take pride in, in this multiplicity of gods and, uh, and, and deities. Now, concerning um, leisure, arts, and culture, pottery making and sculpture became the basis for the socioeconomic life of um, Ilefe. Between 700 and 800 AD, Ilefe began to develop into a major artistic center. But by the 12th century, several artists emerged to engage in creating bronze, stone, and terracotta uh, sculptures. The, the artists were specializing in, in clay, ceramic, stone, terracotta, uh, heads, copper. Um, they were also used, using copper alloy, uh, bronze, to make bronze um, um, ornaments. The heads of uh, rulers and uh, deities were also sculpted in, in bronze. Art discovered in the kingdom of Ife so far includes terracotta and bronze heads and busts, stone sculptures, uh, stools, and religious uh, pieces carved in quartz, uh, and, and, and uh, monumental granite uh, monoliths. An example is the Opa Oromiño, or Oromiño staff, um, which is so tall because uh, Oromiño was supposed to be a giant. Uh, we'll learn more about uh, Oromiño when we're talking about um, Oyo Empire as well as, uh, as the Bini Empire. There are also other statues of uh, humans and uh, animals um, that have been found. Although the early period witnessed uh, um, how Ileife developed as a world-class artistic center, the artistic production began to depreciate around uh, the 1500s due to the later emergence of other kingdoms and uh, empires. The Oyo Empire, and uh, the Benin Empire became politically powerful and wealthy. Hence, 
displacing the monopoly of uh, power enjoyed by Lefe for, for a long time. Um, recently, <laughs> there has been contestations re regarding the relationship between the Oyo Empire and Benin Kingdom. And the rider, AFC rider, argues that the dynasty which rules Benin is related by uh, current tradition to the Yoruba uh, complex of a kingship through a common ancestor, Odudua, the founder of, uh, of Ife, like I said earlier on. While another account argues that Oronyo, who was the last born of Odudua, later founded Oyo and became the first Alafi, and one of his children, Eweka I, became the first Oba of Benin. But we'll learn more um, about this when we're talking about this, uh, uh, these two uh, empires. We will look closer into these relationships in subsequent episodes. Please give us a thumbs up and spread the word about us with your contacts. See you next time.